once again. Uh, welcome to uh, Badminton Trash Talk TV. And uh, I'm joined here with my co-host Bobby Milroy and uh, a Danish legend, Jim Lauggesen, who brought in here with us today. And since, uh, actually we, we, we have two agendas today. It's, it's, it's Trash Talk and it's Mess Up, because we brought Jim in. And since we are, this uh, show is called Trash Talk TV, I'm brought in probably the best trash talker in Danish badminton history. Jim, actually Jim, uh, trash talk. How do you see? Do, do you think trash talk is, is overrated or underrated in badminton? It's very really underrated. Do you think it should, should be used more? Yeah, a lot. Can you like, uh, can you come up with a, a moment where you have to trash talk a guy? Uh, uh, well, uh, not a real moment because I did it all the time. So, uh, so you're saying this was actually... <laughs> you can come up with a career. Yeah. So you say this was actually part of your game plan. It's right? a part of my game plan. Yeah. Tell so us about it. You told me a story the, yesterday about when you first beat uh, Thomas Lind and Yon at the Danish Open. You were giving him some trash talk. Tell us about yeah, it. they were pretty. We were pretty. Me and my partner Thomas Stamkars were uh, pretty sacked up for the game, and uh, we were on uh, every time we we got it down, and we were really in their faces. Uh, but they didn't like it. They, they weren't used to it. But they. But like, how do two legends react? Like, if you tell them to they reacted, shut their mouth, they reacted. Board? They tried to to calm us down because they knew what was going to happen when we were in that mode. Uh, but we actually basically told them to shut up. <laughs> and you won that one, right? You, yeah. won, you won that whole tournament. Yeah. That was actually your breakthrough tournament. Yeah, the Danish it? Open in '96. Okay. But uh, but Jim, I I've watched you a lot of times in the Danish league, but all uh, and this was on on a national stage. What about international? Is is it like? Is 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 Asians are they are they capable? Of like, how do you trash talk a Chinese guy? Yeah, how do you trash talk? Uh, how, how do you trash talk Sang Jun? Sang Jun? Uh, well, uh, you can try and just pull off a fight with him, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we can see what goes on from there. But they, so of course they, it's a little bit difficult with the language and stuff. But you can show emotions like, uh, yeah. Something on their body or something. Uh, if you can uh, do that, uh, but it's all about expression and how you show it in court. But the the Chinese are quite good at it themselves. So okay, what do you think of like like there's like the opposite style of you would be someone like Lars Poska who just is like the, the total ice man. Like, well, I'm in the in the, the psycho mode and he's in the sleeping mode. So, so. <laughs> it's very different. Yeah. Okay, but do you think do you think one is better than the other? Like, do you think yours is is better and his is useless? Well, or are you just saying it's a personality or what? It's a personality, but I I think that if I was supposed to be like uh, Lars Poskis, uh, I would never have been playing the way I did. Uh, okay. I needed this to 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 get my game going. Okay. Sometimes. Do you think it's good? Like, if you have uh, a partner, like of course in doubles it's always about a partner. But would you prefer a partner like a Lars Poska, or do you prefer a partner like? Well, Thomas Stamgaard, who also is a maniac. Well, it's 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 a, it's different because uh, if it's not going well, two maniacs is yeah. uh, well, there won't be many spectators left and opponents and halls because <laughs> it's really fired up. But uh, I think if it's if it's going well, two maniacs are very, are very good. Okay. Uh, but if it's going bad, you maybe should need a person to to come. What about this? Now you played with Michael Sogard for some years, mm. and he's actually known to trash talk his own partners. Well, he uh, did, and I trash talked him back. <laughs> <laughs> that was our style. We'd like, uh, but, uh, but but Jim, now I now I, now I call you the king of trash talk. Uh, now I, I wanna want you to name a guy that actually were t- trash talking a lot, trash talking a lot, and you can also take practice in, in into consideration. A guy who's trash talking a lot. Who can give it back? Uh, nobody never did it to me. But wasn't there one guy when you tr- when you came in as a young guy in Bunby? Wasn't there one guy who just went up and talked to you and told you like, no, junior, I was too big. Like <laughs> okay. I was too, Whatever. too big and too strong. So no. Okay, I Jim, was born like this. So Jim, l- l- let's turn the subject into a uh, to men's double because that's that's why we brought you in here and and we have on our on our website a forum where it's it's discussed like uh, it's called Indo doubles the ultimate, but it's also discussing other legends. I mean, let's say I take Denmark, where we're from, and like, um, let's discuss here who's actually the best men's double player ever in Denmark. Yeah, I don't know if you say mm. you can say yourself if you want, but like, it's discussing here Thomas Lund. Everybody know Thomas Lund, uh, the sports chief in Denmark right now. Um, was he better than the players? Yeah, he's playing now. Yeah. Was he seriously? Was he a better men's doubles player? Of course, he's got the results in mix, but what about nah, the men's? He doubles? also got. He won the All England in. Uh, in the 
Mm, we, have, uh, we, we have a guy here who's named the, the Dane on our website. He's saying that Lund was not better than The Matrix, this last post, and Jonas Rasmussen is Men's Love. Uh, agree? That I'm not agreeing on. Lund was very, very good. You have to look at, at the, the, the level he played in for, uh, for many years. Like, he didn't go down, he was always up there. Mm. I know he didn't win. Uh, the world championship, but uh, had he been in an a- another area than Park Yobong, <laughs> he would have won for sure. Then let's uh, let, let, let's take the nowadays men's soccer players. Like, of course, there's Tony Gunnar, mm. and always brought up because he's winning with mm. everybody. Mm. You've played him, right? I've like, played him. Is played him. this guy as good as everybody says? He is very good. Is he like? Don't get me wrong, a little overrated because people sometimes lazy. No, sound he's, like not, he's not. He's not. He's not overrated. Uh, he's uh, he's very very good, and. Uh, the best ever? Mm, that is difficult uh, to say. Uh, I would say it's it's a bit surprising. And it's, it's maybe also the level doubles is in right now that he can just pull off mm. a Howard back. Not Howard back played very well, but he also just played with Jaya, with Jaya at the Indonesian Open one. Mm. Uh, I don't think that would have happened before. Uh, you don't think it could have happened or did you? No, no, I don't think. Uh, you have to. Gunnarvan is up there as one of the best ever. Uh, you have to take uh, Jovan Park into it. Rixi Meineke from Indonesia, also unbelievable player. But but you, so you, you what about Dong Moon? I mean, what about Kim Dong Moon also? Yeah. Uh, what about you? You you, you played against all these guys, and mm. you, of course this this is difficult to compare. But mm. who would you like say if you should pick one, is the best? Well, I played them all, uh, and I lost to them all. So. <laughs> Uh, they're pretty good. Um, the the, the one I really never got a chance to get even close to beating was was Rixi. He was uh, very very impressive. But how is it? How is it like a guy like Gunawan? Like how can he just go with any partner? Like because of course you see some guys that they go with one partner. Well, he, and he is that, that area, uh, not that 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 uh, year of players was very very good. You okay. also see them now. They don't practice that much and go win tournaments. So. Maybe the standard was high. I don't know. Um, so, so what, what, what in, the, in the future, Jim? What, what kind of double do you see winning now? Also, with the new scoring system, is it, is it going to uh, be this a power Korean double? Is it going to be no, the no, no? It's it's it's, it's a bit uh, it's a bit difficult to say because uh, I think actually the Danes are looking very good. Yeah. Uh, with the even the young ones. Even the young ones, yeah, uh, Carsten and Mathieu is doing well, but but it all depends on if 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 the rules are going to stick like they are now uh, with the service. Uh, Do you think it's a benefit or a disadvantage? It's a benefit if you can for for for, for Europeans. It's a benefit that mm-hmm. we can the service like almost in your head now uh, when you serve. If we <laughs> but you were you were known for serving pretty high also. also are you yeah. actually in but it's not started it. Yeah, I started it, but. It's not even close to what they're doing now. Uh, okay. Uh, but 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 I would say longer rallies. I think uh, we will, the Indonesians have a better chance because of their speed and the explosive. Okay. Okay. But talking about the the, the Danish style again, the Carsten uh, Munch, of course, is, uh, is your old partner for for uh, year you've played with them. Um, do you think these guys can uh, can be the best in the world? I haven't seen one yet uh, from the other country. They can't be. So. Okay. That must mean yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that they can stay up there and be the best. Like uh, you've seen Vijaya and Sikit being and yeah, Park, three world finals. Park and Kim and but but uh, they they can do uh, a lot of things. Okay, now let's let, let, let's actually switch a little bit because the thing about uh, Jim, of course, he's known uh, to be this powerhouse in doubles. But actually, uh, as a junior, we didn't know where Jim was uh, going because you were dominant in all three events. Mm. And actually, uh, when I came to Denmark, I found out about this this dirty secret that the Danes have been basically conspiracy theory that kept keeping from the world mm. is that in the under nineteen uh, men's uh, singles under final, 17, 17. under seventeen men's singles final, Jim, is it true that you beat Kenneth Jonasson zero and zero? Yeah. That's true. And, <laughs> and, 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 and seven, and, and seven, t- uh, seven minutes. And, and take this. This guy got to surf. Is it three times? Yeah, something. Like that. Three times <laughs> in seven minutes. Love and love. Kenneth Johansson. Yeah. How about that? After the match, did you go off and say that guy will definitely be number two in the world? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I didn't say that. 
I thought he would quit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him run out of the hall and into a, a field somewhere with his dad and his coach after him. So I thought he would never come back. But he he came back and he's been doing really well since, you must say. I'm very impressed by him. So what did, why, why did you choose doubles instead of singles? I mean, uh, well, after uh, such a result, you know, well, like, um, obviously he could have been more class. I got I got a I got a kind of disease when I was a little bit older and, and I came back but I came back and played singles uh, and still beat everyone uh, but <laughs> but uh, I got into becoming a little bit too big for badminton uh, especially singles um, my my kind of style was very aggressive let's just put it like that uh, and I got this partner Henrik Sora who used to be one of the world's best doubles players. Okay. And he was number three of five in the ranking. And he asked me in the age of nineteen if I wanted to play. So right. that was and and that that area in Denmark at that time there weren't enough singles players like Stu and Frost and uh, okay, Paul Eric and all these. Yeah, yeah. So they thought we need some doubles players. And I never lost it. Almost never lost it. Uh, me and my partner Yanni Rose never lost the doubles. Uh, Okay. And you, so so they they felt he can play doubles. Either. So do you think like like back like in your junior career, of course, and you say you were kicking Kenneth, you mm. won more titles than Peter Gade and Peter Rasmussen. That's right, right. Mm. So uh, do you think if you would have played singles, mm -hmm. would you have been the best in the world? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim, I have another story that I need confirmation for you uh, from. Oh, there's that, a lot of stories. That uh, I heard actually that speaking about trash, like, this is another way of of trash talking. Mm -hmm. I heard that you once at our European Championships, Junior, that you were going to play Bosen, Anders Bosen, everybody knows Anders Bosen. Mm -hmm. And there's a rumor that you were a little afraid of this guy because he was coming up. So I actually heard that you took this guy and beat his arm so badly so that he <laughs> couldn't play. Is let, that, is that a let me tell you like and, this. Uh, uh, let me tell you one thing. I wasn't afraid of him. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. But 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 yes, it's true. I, I gave him some punches. Uh, punches. Uh, <laughs> he got zero and four. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is trash. Okay, but uh, I, will, I will leave this as the last word in this uh, this uh, part of uh, trash TV. Jim, thank you very much for joining us. It was uh, very funny to to hear your views about Amazon and some good stories, by the way. And uh, <laughs> we will be back again next week with the Trash Talk TV.